And welcome back. We are here for map two for the first week of the S and S League, Smoke and Steel League here for this Wednesday. It is a Piper Farm 290 on the uh, server count, so full server. 143 on the defending CSA and 46 on the attacking Union. Now this is CQB uh, versus 10th US. Those are the two commanders. On the US team here, we have 10th US led by Captain Jack. You've got the CB led by George, and we've got two core led by Jason Umbrella, and it looks like uh, Brutish is leading ninth core. Let's see, then we've got FSB led by Tanban. Looks like SR is in the mix as well. And then we've got a number of arty guys. We've got Archangel, we've got Big Max, we've got Agrippa. So a lot of good arty guys in there. On the CSA team, we've got Yonzi leading the CQB. You've got MSG led by Colonel Spartan. We got 12th VA led by Wall Jackson. Let's see. What else do we have? We got JD led by Colonel Dees. Looks like we got 59th New York is in there as well. I'm not sure who's commanding them, along with a number of other people. 59th, we got Colonel Red. We got 1st Maryland, Major Zapster. So a number of units in there. And then for the batteries, looks like we've got MB and also some 12th VA folks as well. Looks like Colonel Ghetto, 2nd Lieutenant Nuke leading over there. Here we go, map is already live. This again is Piper Farm. Union spawn. Point of contention. CSA spawn. Uh, some of Union already. Uh, more of Union already. And CSA already is kind of spread out all along. So, we will see where the USA goes. Looks like they're waiting most of their efforts to the Union right. CSA left here with one force kind of going along the stone wall here, and that is two core. Looks like they are there as a distraction force. Uh, we've got the uh, CSA who is down here. Looks like JD is the first unit that this Union mass may run across. But no, they made a right, they made a left turn here. Here comes 9th Corps. Is going to try to roll up the flank here and kind of shoot across. Meantime, 10th US is going to try to lay down some supporting fire here. Swing back over to 9th Corps and see what's going on. They have now run into, looks like, SB. And SB is making short work of this 9th Corps element here. Hold this. Hold this position, guys. Don't hold this position. Hold yourselves. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get him. What are you doing, bud? I hear FSB. Yep. FSB coming up to try to support 9th Corps, but they're basically wiped at this point. And those two 9th Corps guys are very happy, but SB has pulled back a bit. 10th US has rotated out to these rocks here. And let's see here. CB is kind of rotating behind them using 10th US as a screen. Meanwhile, we've got a major base of fire here from the JD. Right place, along with 12 VAs over here. They kind of separated the uh, CSA, and it looks like 12 VA has realized that, and they're starting to redeploy some of their men. We do have some movement over here by 2 Corps, potentially moving up, or maybe just adjusting their fire. Trying to squeeze the CSA into this position over here. Now you've got most, a good chunk of the CSA team is now this little divot here. Now they're pretty well protected from rifle fire, but this position can be hit by good arty crews. And um, knowing those arty crews, I think they are good, but we shall see how they count for themselves this game on McDonald's. Yeah, like, no Those guys are actually really good. You so. you jump over the fence and you go to the main line. Not even on tickets so far, so we'll see what the Union does next. Is that a forward move I see going on? It is indeed. So 2 Corps is now, looks like joined by 9th Corps, is now making a move on the CSA right. And we'll see if they can turn it. They're chasing off the Yardie. Or 
tortured speak in succession. We got a cannon to our left. We got to take care of guys. Shoot that man. Shoot him. Take left to the hay bales, guys. CSA being very conservative on their positioning here, which I'm not opposed to at this moment, actually. It seems to be working fairly well for them. I'm trying to use good hard cover and keep the Union out of it, but the Union is trying to find covered positions where they can. <laughs> Shifting over onto the left by the hay bales. You don't do the NPR rumble today? Problem I have with this right now is the Union wow. might become a little bit static here. Pull back. Load right here! Looking good, lads. Hey, 5 9, pulling them further back. See, now the CSA is starting to lose tickets, and I didn't really see why. Game's still good, or did I lose it? Come on, what are we doing here, game? Is that it for the stream today? Nope, okay. It might have been the arty, I don't know, because now these guys have kind of cleared out. I wonder if there were some arty shots I missed. I didn't really see it. Uh, I mean, they're still not doing bad on tickets. They're keeping a decent pace, but they are falling behind a little bit. And at 38 minutes, getting this close, at, at, at this pace is going to be difficult for them to sustain. Now we saw how that disciplined attack by the Union worked out well on the previous map. We'll see how it works on this one. Looks like 59th is going to try to uh, sneak up and get a flank shot. We'll see if Colonel Ray can pull off this maneuver. And working out pretty well for him, actually. Don't bust that nut just yet. And that actually worked out really well for Colonel Red there. Now these guys, I'll be honest with you, I think are a little bit spread out here. I'd, I'd be imagining that guy died as a skirmisher, which you do not want to have. Like, oh, what does it matter? It matters in the aggregate. What's the aggregate? Don't worry about it. All right, good job by Steph. Good job. Moving back over closer to the line. You don't have to be right next to him. In fact, you don't want to be, but... Um, yeah, the problem is, oh, so yeah, cover, you know, you got to be careful. Does cover work, you know, what does it protect you fire? You know, gives you some protection that way, but they shot you from over there. That was who was that? That was 8th Ohio, not surprised. Uh, let's see what we got. Right now it's pretty static. Again, the CSA appears to be, um, well, they've been kind of forced back here. Kind of zoom out, we kind of see this battlefield, so... They've got basically two positions. They've got this position here, which they will snake out from, you know, and hit. They've got this center position here, which has been thinned out quite significantly. And then we've got the far corn position here. Now, the Union, on the other hand, has about two positions here. They've got the orchard right here, and they've got this mass right here. So, uh, we will see how this develops. Right now, it's looking pretty good for the Union, both on time and casualties, so... Um, I think if they maintain this, they will be in very good shape. Got a nice, um, you know, open spacing, open ranks by 10th U.S. right here. I'd say that's the, uh, if you're not going to have a covered position, this is the formation to go with. But, uh, always try to find a covered position when you can.
Now, the problem with open order is if you kind of get these holes, like right now, this guy will probably die out of line. Maybe skirmishing if he gets hit. So, again, you kind of want to scoot on over. If you see a hole in the line. Or if you pop in, you want to pop in where a hole is. So, just like Jazz Raptor did right there, that's kind of what you want to do. You're going to kind of... Oh, and good job there by Smooth Jazz. You see how we kind of moved back over? That's what you want to do. So yeah, that guy died. All right, so when you see an opportunity, move back over. Yeah, and if you're going to do open order, it's, it's always preferable to find hard cover whenever you can, but sometimes the uh, field does not uh, allow you to do so. Oh, wait, we have a charge over here by FSB. Interesting. Okay. And they have actually gotten up on this hay bale position here. This I very much support. Getting close to the enemy here. Alright, so FSB has done the damage and they are going to pull back. So maybe it was just a quick little raid and they were going to fall back. That might be what they were thinking. And maybe it was to try to drag these guys out into a more killable position. So, I like that aggressive move here by the FSB. Kind of draw them out a little bit. Maybe already can hit them. And if they can, infantry might be able to. Just keep up that pressure however you can. Don't let them get complacent. Right, looks like we got another move over here. Once more, we got two core out here and we got ninth core. Might try another flank maneuver. Now this time the CSA has kind of consolidated a little bit more center here. You zoom out, you can kind of see that now they've kind of abandoned this position. Now they're really consolidated here in this center position and the corn. And that may allow these elements here, if they want to be a little bit aggressive, to kind of come up and hit them hard in that position right there and kind of force them out into the open. Let's see if that's what 9th core or 2 core have in mind. Extend it to the right. Keep up fire on them. Let's see if we can see what's going on here. We got a CQB. Shift to left. Uh, it was open. I took it for the pistol. <laughs> That's real. Nah, that guy's smart. That's real. Got another raid here by the FSB. They have liked this maneuver, and I like it too, to be honest with you. Now, the only criticism I would have... Well, I mean, you're starting to see more CSA rotate out here, so if these guys are getting kills over here, it's fine. But I would look for an opportunity to kind of try to flank these guys if you can. You got pretty good taste. They got him to engage now. So I want to say I, I've been. The line's been fine. Like we, I've just been now this is an interesting decision here. Um, I wonder why is this out of bounds? I don't think this is out of bounds. I wonder why 12th VA has not put him on this fence back here. Um, maybe they're worried about getting into reinforcements if somebody needs their help being too far behind. But I think they're a little bit more exposed at this fence um, than they are down here. I would just, if I was y'all, I would just get on the line and start shooting. Just shoot. Like, Color Guard, I think, should just be shooting right now. Like, that's really my, my main thing. But they're not really taking too many casualties, so to be honest with you, maybe it's not a problem at all. If you're not taking losses, then who cares? Um. Shift, 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 shift. Shift when banner, shift. Looks like SP is moving a little bit to the left here. Let's follow down and see what they're thinking. North, north, east, you got easy shots, Stellar Guard. Back on the road, back on the road, back on the road, back on the road, back on the road. 
8th Ohio down there still doing that little snipe thing on the side. Watch the road, watch the road to your left. Yeah! Oh, we got another moving. Is this another FSB raid? Yeah, yes, it is. You're damn right. You're damn right. You're damn right. I love these little punches and fall back. These little jabs back, that the FSB is doing. I, I really back, like this. I, I wouldn't take the flag up there with you. I, that, that I wouldn't do, but otherwise, wonderful. Jeez, that was past my face. Try yeah. to take the barn from them. Try and break the bastards. Yeah. So that way they don't have anything. Hi, sir. Now you can go through this barn here and kind of jump out the other side right here through that door and kind of land on them if you want to. It is possible. CSA getting close now to breaking here, and, and I really think these FSB raids have a lot to do with it, to be honest with you. See, we were talking about cover earlier. And not perfect. I wouldn't stand. Tell me to stop shooting. Um, I can't see them. No, it's not going to give you full cover, but it, it's something. Black powder is perfectly natural. It comes from three natural ingredients. They're good for Keep killing. Damn right. I really do think if they added another unit to these FSB raids, they'd be doing a lot more damage here. Um, to be honest with you, I think Ninth Corps might be the candidate for it. Or maybe 3rd Ohio. Alright, see now, we'll see. The CSA is now consolidating now almost fully here in the center. They're no longer really contesting the side. So they've gone from three positions really to one. Um, so we'll see how the Union decides to react to this. The third Ohio moving down, trying to catch some out of lines. Yeah. Yep. There's five. Oh, oh, you missed. Oh, you better run. These tickets add up, these little fives. Get five yeah, tickets here and there. There's another yeah, five. If they catch this guy right here, if they find him. Wow. Don't die out of bounds. Right. Yep. Yeah. Coming to our left. Coming to our left. Nice to get left. Yeah, coming from Hold our corner. Hold yourselves, boys. Hold yourselves. Load and hold. Load and hold. Yeah, yeah the hey, entire hey, CSA hey, team hey. is now concentrated here. CSA is on taking losses here. Union not halfway through engaged. Well ahead on tickets, plenty of time. Uh, this is definitely right now the uh, in the Union favor. Get him. I'm. 
Looks like we got potentially a raid developing here with 12 VA. I'm with you, Necro. Same oh, time that yeah. the Union is. Is this an attack by Ninth Corps? This is what I was hoping to see here. Now, my criticism of it. Oh, no, no. It comes at the same time we got that airborne drop here by 10th US. You see it going in. There we go. This is what I was waiting to see. A great combined attack here from the Union from multiple directions, almost all going off at the same time here. Counter them, counter them. Get some, bitch. <laughs> now the CSA was able to react to it pretty well. I need you to stop screaming. That hurt my ears. Because a lot of the guys, actually a good chunk didn't go in, actually. Um, Left side, left side. Eight, uh, Eighth Ohio, I'll be honest with you. You guys are no longer needed over there. You might need to rotate over here to aid them. And actually, if the CSA counterattacks right now, they might be able to make up some ground. We'll see. If they come in and hit them hard, they might be able to overwhelm this Union Regiment, knock out some flags, and kind of reset the battlefield. I don't know if that's what they're going to do or not. We'll see. If they wait too long, that window's going to close. You want us to try to recover those flags? Hell yeah, Arch! Hell yeah! They all yes, just got down. Yeah, the Union lost two of their flags out here, too. That was another critical error. If you were going to leave a unit back here, as you did, why didn't you leave the flags back there with it? There was no reason to send those flags in on that charge. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh Hey, you're your flag in the dirt right now? Here we go. He got it up. <laughs> yeah, I'll go do a valiant leave voluntarily. I'll go take that. Flag. It's a beamer get domed. So the CSA has not pushed yet. You can see how long it takes the Union to get from Maine to get all the way back here. They still have time now, but it is running out if they want to try to make this move here. They are halfway down to breaking, um, but right now if they don't do anything. You know, you could wipe out this element here and then turn and fight this element, kind of defeat them in detail, and try to even up the tickets get them down a little bit but just let it become a uh, let the union get back online they gotta continue to shape you however they please so good attack by the union um, I don't oppose what they did I think they could have waited a little bit more maybe leave uh, the flags back with 8th Ohio might have been what I said to do if they were gonna hang out back here Send all four flags back there and send everybody up. Uh, but maybe they want to maintain this position here. In that case, I would have sent 8th Ohio up as well. I wouldn't have left all CB. One of CB had to go. I'm thinking put this between those two uh, caissons up there and we can just fire cans here. from close range. Hell yeah. oh, looks like we got an isolated element out here. Who is this? Ninth Corps getting in the volley, but they are falling back. I think Brutish knows he's a little bit overexposed here from 59th. Colonel Red is going to get his men back as well. Who, what, when? And we can see the CSA has reoccupied this uh, CSA right side of the field now. They have not contested the left side. I still think 8th Ohio is a little bit too far out there in my, in my view. Oh, do we have another charge going in? Kill the Rambo, kill the Rambo, kill the Rambo. Uh, shoot the flag, shoot the fucking flag. Yeah, right we away. do. I don't, I don't know what that was about. It's too small to be a major, major tag. Maybe they're trying to get the flags back, but that was the middle of the enemy. I don't know what the hell the point of that would be. Uh, uh no, I was just coughing. <laughs> like, 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 we're, like, we're, like, we're, like, like, were you coughing like, like the anti-union virus? I, I ain't clear. I just have asthma. And now you're dead. Like, like, like before, before you passed As I was so rudely interrupted by me collapsing on myself. Bayonets, man. 
Do we want to double or hold on to this for the next shot? This is good. This is good. Do We're what? close enough. Oh, All right. Actually, I'll yeah, hold. yeah. Maybe here, here. Actually, yeah. Shady, put that in. Put that in. You can use that. You want to put it in you? Yep. Yep. Put it in. Oh, oh, Grandpa. Oh. <laughs> All right, we do. No, no, that was. We do it. I do like the Union has come up and occupied their already position. That is very smart. Right, here comes 10th U.S. I'm going to kill some people. Again, I, I don't agree with unsupported. Was that Team K? It's not a bad idea, but it's unsupported. It's it's not... It's not worth anything. It, all you're doing is giving them... You know, good skirmishing and out of line tickets. That's not a good attack. Now, with that being said, it looks like FSB made a charge at the same time, at least for the hay bales. So that's not a bad move. But, you know, where else are we putting pressure on? You know, you lost a lot of tickets doing that. And now FSB is going to get slammed here if they stay there. Let him come to you. Yeah! FSB is going to charge in. And the CSA has hit breaking on that. But the ticket is getting closer. But the Union is going to try. Here comes 9th Corps is going to try to sneak in and get the cap. We'll see if they can succeed. They might. They're close to it. It might be 9th Corps here for the win. The CSA needs to react now to stop this. They're charging, boys. Keep shooting. No one's chasing you. Count it, count it, count it. And you had another charge by the Union, and that'll do it. And a cheeky move by 9th Corps, and it looks like CB was able to finish it off after that charge in by FSB got him down to breaking, so... A good solid win for the Union, so they're 2-0. Uh, so I think 10th U.S. I think has four points on the board right now, so they are off to a very good start uh, for this camp, for this um, league here. Um, yeah, CSA, I, I don't think played badly at all. Um, tough map. I don't know why they chose to depend on it. Um, I really like the, um, some really good Union charges in there. Um, some very well-coordinated ones. They were able to kind of separate the CSA. Some great arty work as well. Um, so good awareness by the Union arty also to occupy the CSA cannons when they got the opportunity. Anyway, um, that's it. And, um, yeah. So, hope you all enjoyed. Two short matches.